Hey, what's up guys? Wake Run Collapse back with part 14 of my uh, August farewell party. Gonna be opening one Japanese booster box every day for every, well, in every day of August. Uh, so it's gonna be 31 booster boxes in total. Uh, today we're gonna have one of, uh, one of the more different sets that's out there, uh, but it's still very cool. I did manage to get my hands on this uh, box before, so I have already completed the set, uh, but I'm definitely looking to run up the score a little bit, so to speak. So today we're going to open up this box of Japanese Dragon Selection. Uh, I did eventually leave, lead to Dragon Vault in, uh, in English. Uh, and the cards in here are all hollow. Uh, there's 15 packs in the box and there's 5 cards in each pack and every pack has all 5 hollows which is amazing. Quick tour of the box of course. It's really nice it is first edition. Um, I do believe that the um, that the Dragon Vault cards only came in blisters, like three-pack blisters with special promos inside. Or maybe there were five-pack blisters, I'm not entirely certain, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Dragon Vault was not a booster box uh, set for, uh, for English collectors. So, I do already have a complete set. In fact, I have two complete sets minus the, um, the 20 out of 20 experience share, so I'd love to pull two of those. Because that would guarantee that I would have three complete sets total if I were able to pull another complete one out of this uh, out of this box. So definitely hoping for a second experience share here because that would allow me to uh, potentially move um, well at least one, possibly two complete sets. We'll look at the pack art and oh, it's beautiful. And there's no need for a card trick here because they are all hollows. I don't believe there's a rarity symbol in this set at all. It's just going to be complete hollow goodness. And I'm not going to stop and leave the cards. I'm just going to go, go, go. Oh, and there's a stupid leaflet in here. Here we go, guys. Wow, Dragonite for the first card. So beautiful. It's really nice. They do tend to make the first card in the pack pretty good, but I don't know if that's rarity related or not. Here we have a Dratini. Oh, it's so nice to revisit this set. Dragonair. Uh, Akshu. And Shelgon. So cool. I'm going to be very careful with these cards, rather than sit here and sleeve all 75 of them in front of you. Uh, this was the introduction of the dragon type in uh, in Japanese and possibly in English as well. I don't know if the timing was correct for it. Nice experience share in the second pack. That's great news for me. Hopefully it means I get another one. Salamence. See what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with this set. Another Akshu. Another Jatini. And a Latios. So nice. There are a few uh, Pokemon that have alternate artworks inside the set. And the set is only 20 cards. Because um, I guess they wanted to uh, really show off that dragon type. Wow, it's so cool to come back to this. Uh, Super Rod, awesome. The trainers tend to be the most, uh, the rarest of the cards, so it's always good to get those. Uh, Rayquaza. Another card, Sparkle and Shine. Another Shellgon. Akshu. And Dratini. Interesting that I've pulled three Akshu and no, uh, no Fracture yet. Or Haxorus, I believe. Uh, there's also uh, Latias. There's Dredagon in this set. Despite its smallness, it's just full of good stuff. And there's the Haxorus. Awesome. Very nice. Dragonair. Akshu. There's the Fracture. And another Latios. Cool. I would be looking to move uh, complete sets rather than single cards, although if I have extra duplicates, if that makes any sense, extra duplicates of the single cards, then I will... Uh, I will consider trading those away as well. Nice, there's the Dredigan. Very cool. Uh, there's the different artwork on the Fracture. Uh, first bag on, I think. 
another Dratini, and another Akshu. So five for five on pulling Akshu. It's interesting. So while this is not going to be an EX full art shiny level X set, um, I'm pulling 75 hollows out of one box, guys. You should be happy. <laughs> uh, there's another Dragonite. Love that card. Uh, Dratini. Dragonair. Akshu. The streak continues. And a Shellgon. Would freak me out if I pulled an Akshu in every pack. I know it's not going to happen, but it would still be freaky. Umbreon's agreeing with his eyes. Nice, another Salamence. Really cool. Fracture. Bagon. Dratini. And another Akshu. Just when you think, just when you think it's over. Uh, so we've still got eight packs to go, and I'm only two cards away from completing the set, I believe, out of this box. I believe I still need a Latias and a Fast Ticket. That's presuming I didn't miss any of the alternate artworks. I think I got everything else. And there we go. There's the fast ticket. Uh, this is the card that if you have it in your hand, I think when you start the game, you get to go first, which is crazy. Uh, another Rayquaza. Awesome. Dragonair. Fracture. And there's the Latia. So I believe that makes for a complete set out of eight packs. I love how this set works. Now I just gotta pull another experience share. If only it were in my control. We have a Hexorus, Dragonair, Fracture. Oh, and the Axew streak is over. Uh, Latias and Latios. Nice. I had a feeling that I was gonna pull both of them, given that the Latias was not in the end of the pack. Usually, for some reason, those two tend to uh, wait until the end. Just like the trainers are always first, and then uh, behind that, or in place of that, uh, usually you get like a Salamence, Dragonite, Rayquaza, um, Haxorus, something like that. Occasionally a Dredigan. Uh Speaking of which, <laughs> there's a Dredigan, first card in this pack. Dragonair. Fracture. Latias. And Latios, and there's the team again. Nice. Love getting extras of those. Such a cool set, guys. Ugh. Nice, a third Dragonite. Really cool. Dratini. Dragonair. Akshu. And another Latias. So after not pulling any of them, I managed to pull like four out of five packs or something crazy like that. I'm probably just going to end up sleeving these and putting them in the box. Uh, usually I keep the boxes from these openings and then I just put all the uh, remaining cards inside. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Salamence. Dratini. Dragonair. Akshu, and another Latias. Awesome. Maybe I'll just put them all in nine card pages and see which ones I have full pages of. That would be fun. Only I think like three packs to go. Nice, and there is the experience share I needed. So that guarantees me three complete sets out of uh, this box and the last one that I opened. That's awesome. Uh, Rayquaza, Latios. Interesting having him in the middle of the pack. Dragonair. And a Fracture. Wow, I'm going to have a stack of 75 hollows sitting on my desk. Oh, and if I didn't mention it before, um, that was an error box uh, yesterday on, uh, on Dark Rush. There were only nine hollows. I counted through the uh, the uncommons and the commons, and there were 91 of them. 
That was really weird. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, Super Rod. Haxorus. Axew. Dratini. And another Dragonair. Last pack of this box, guys. Uh, last time around, I was one card short, like I said, of uh, completing the set. So I imagine I'm not going to pull the uh, fast ticket to make it two complete sets out of this one box. But you never know. And in that regard, I'm actually going to be tricksy. And I'm going to put the card in the front in the back. Just in case it happens to be that fast ticket. I want a nice reveal at the end. Awesome. Latios. Fracture, Dratini, Dragonair, and a Dredigan for my final card. So guys, I would show a recap, but to be honest, your recap is going to be rewinding to the beginning of the video and hitting that play button again to watch it again. Um, just really, really awesome hollows out of Dragon Selection. And great to be uh, assured that I have three complete sets in my collection. One for me and two for some of you guys, if you're interested in buying it. Um, I don't know. Uh, usually I don't sell off uh, cards in bulk, but given that it's a complete set, a completely hollow set, and uh, I don't know, is generally awesome, then I would uh, definitely do that for anybody that uh, pays a fair price or wants to trade me something for it. So, Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and make sure you come back tomorrow, aka make sure you're subscribed, and I'll be back with another booster box.